All right, guys, we're on a trip to uh, Vermont. See a covered bridge. Should be a beautiful covered bridge. And this is how BMW riders, BMW drivers park for some reason. them to park like that. Alrighty, so the bridge we're gonna head to sea, which is out in Vermont, it's a little ways up. Um, I still got about two hours to go. And uh, I actually wanted to leave a little bit earlier, but, well, yeah, that didn't really pan out like I thought it would. So I ended up, uh, I ended up getting on a road a little bit later than what I thought I would. Not too bad though, I got on the road probably about 10. And uh, so now just kind of just making my way on up. We're still in New York. We are on the Taconic State Parkway. All right, let's just close my little vent there. And my key tag that Viper 6 gave me is uh is there flashing in the wind as you can see good old Viper 6 great guy so we're gonna make our way on up and I will be bringing you in and out as we ride little by little gentlemen this uh I was over there and I just used the little nasty ass porta potty. Then a gentleman comes up and he's like, hey man, can you hear those those speakers going about 80? And I was like, mm. I was like, you can hear them, but you know, if you're if you're doing 80 and you wanna play play these, you're gonna wanna probably you're gonna wanna amp. Just to give you that much more power. A little bit more power so that the radio isn't struggling so much so but for me I rarely I rarely am doing 80 miles an hour very rare a lot of the time I'm doing maybe say 65 to 70 and they're they're pretty much perfect for me at that point now I know a lot of people were like oh yeah you're gonna be able to hear them you're gonna be blaring them the world's gonna hear you and I'm like eh, well in all honesty that's not really me you know I like them to be loud enough for me to hear and for me to be happy with that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much what I'm happy with and what excites me so to say so that is why I never went with an amp because I really truthfully just didn't see the need to I could have but I just didn't see the need to so I figured you know what we'll just stay with this and this should be fine I drilled out the rear baffle on the stock muffler because I took the cobra slip on off and 
drilled out the rear baffle on the stock muffler. Let me activate my cruise control here. Oh yeah, baby. All right, we're doing about 64. That's good. That's perfect. I can paste these guys in front of me. Uh, yeah, so I drilled out the rear baffle, which would let the bike pass a little bit more air through just a small one inch hole through the rear baffle. The front's already drilled. So, free things up a little bit more but still it's nice and quiet right now right now I barely hear it I don't know if you will be able to maybe you can but I probably hear a little more of the wind noise than I do hear the actual exhaust I mean if I do get on it yeah I would hear it but um, you know this is fine for me this is good I'm, I'm, I'm happy I'm happy with this I just want to be relaxed when I ride I really don't want to hear the exhaust blaring. It's like, you know what, I'm, I'm just over that. I'm over it, I'm over it. I was done and I'm over it. Ready to, I'm just gonna sell it, let it go. There's always someone on the forums that's like, oh yeah, man, I'll take that, you know, and uh, or maybe I'll ask my buddy that's nearby. He might want it, I don't know, we'll see. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm over it. And, I mean, it sounds great with it, don't get me wrong. It sounds nice, it's got a really nice sound, but. You know, when I go on these long rides, I just want to relax, man. You know, I'm not saying, I mean, like, even the Gold Wings, when I took the Gold Wing out, man, that was nice, man. It was nice. It was quiet. A little too much wind noise, but it was nice, you know. And, well, this was the newer one. It's not the older one. It had a nice little hum to it, which was nice, you know. It's kind of like this one. You get the V-twin hum from it, and you get a little rumble from the exhaust, and you know it's 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 nice it's 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 uh i guess you could say relaxing in a way so to say so uh, yeah can't complain the, the shield has been doing great i really do love it love it uh you know what do you guys think about riding on holidays you know a buddy of mine at work said to me Yo, bro, I know you rode the bike in today, man. I know you rode the bike in today. It was Saturday. It was a uh, Saturday. Uh, Labor Day weekend is this week. So that was a sad. This was, um, you know, it was yesterday. It was Labor Day weekend. And today is uh, Wednesday. Right? It's Wednesday? Oh, today's Tuesday. Free. I think today's. I don't know. Free. I don't know. Anyway. So Labor Day was yesterday. Um, yeah, so Saturday and Sunday, he was like, yo, I know you rode your bike. And I told him, I said, listen, man, I don't I don't really care for holiday weekends, man. I was like, man, holiday weekends, you know, you can just keep it. You know, I just think there's too many crazy people on the road. And I just don't feel like being out there and dealing with the people that just have no care. You know, they just... Uh, are in a rush to get to where they want to go um, they're tailgating they're speeding you know it, it just seems like listen i feel like we all should be able to get out there and have a good time enjoy a good ride and at the same time be safe you, oh god you know what i mean i feel like we all should have that ability we should all be able to do that and, and that's what we all want in a in a day ride you just want to be safe man you know we don't want to freaking end up in a situation where you know someone's damn near trying to run us off the road and then you know you got the people that they're gonna go to the park and they're gonna go to a barbecue and they're gonna have a few drinks you know and oh i'm good to drive you know and then they get on the road and they don't really realize how freaking wishy-washy they are and I'm not talking about two beers. I'm talking about these people that throw back like six, seven beers. And then they take shots on top of it. You know what I mean? So, you know, there's people out there that do that, man. And sometimes you just don't hear about it. They just don't get caught. They don't get pulled over. Or they make it to where they're going safely somehow, some way. You know, things happen. It happens. So, but that's just me. No, there have been times when I got out and I didn't get a, get a ride in. I think July 4th, I did I didn't get a ride in. So, you know, there have been times that I, I, I went against that. You know, and I, and I went out and I rolled. And there's nothing wrong with that either. But, 
you know, you just really got to be hyper aware. You really have to be hyper aware. So, yeah, guys, uh, it's a little bit of a beginning loop. Uh, I think what I'll do is we will cut this here and I can come back when we get into Vermont. So I got about 51 miles to go.